Good morning, dear friends. Wonderful day. We thank God for this new day added to our lives. And before we get into the uh, busy schedule of our life today, let us learn to be quiet for a few minutes, listening to the voice of God through His Word. And the word we are going to meditate today is found in the Gospel according to St. Luke, chapter 10, verses 38 to 42. This is about Martha, who um, invited and received Jesus into her home. You know her sister Mary and then Lazarus, the brother. These two sisters and the brother were living together. And uh, we read this account here in Luke 10, 38 to 42. Let me read it for you. As Jesus and his disciples were on their way, he came to a village where a woman named Martha opened her home to him. And she had a sister called Mary, and he sat at the Lord's feet, listening to what he said. But Martha was distracted by all the preparations that had to be made. She came to him and asked, Lord, don't you care that my sister has left me to do the work by myself? Tell her to come and help me. And Martha, Martha, the Lord answered, You are worried and upset about many things. But only one thing is needed. Mary has chosen that what is better. And it will not be taken away from her. This is the passage. You know, Martha, Martha, Jesus called her. She received Jesus into her home. And she probably was the eldest among the three. And it was customary for the eldest uh, son or daughter to receive guests. She received Jesus. And it was an expression of her faith. She probably owned the house. And there was no meaning in our talking about faith unless that faith is allowed to change into action by uh, uh, receiving Jesus into our hearts and lives and into our homes. And so that is the first thing that we see in this passage. Martha receiving Jesus into her home. Thus converting her faith into action. And the second thing we notice is, how about Mary, her sister? Mary sat at Jesus' feet. It was an expression of her devotion. Martha's was an expression of her faith and Mary's action was an expression of her devotion. And uh, a devotion with love and communion and fellowship. Which is more important? There is a question. Is it duty or devotion? Which is more important? Martha wanted to do so much for Jesus and she was thus overburdened with the so many cares. And Mary seems to, uh, do, uh, seems to be in, in a different world of her own. Martha wanted to do much for Jesus and uh, she was thus overburdened with so many cares. And Mary is enjoying herself by simply sitting, sitting at Jesus' feet. Martha could not understand uh, how Mary could be so careless. She doesn't see me running all around trying to accomplish certain jobs and here she is simply sitting at Jesus' feet, relaxing. Perhaps there is a wife who knows what I am talking about. 
You know, your husband may not understand why you leave the home suddenly to attend a Bible study. And when there is so much work at home, children, dinner, and uh, dishwashing, and getting the beds ready for, for, for the night, and all this works, Lord, and you begin to complain. Do you understand what I am talking about? But listen, you who complain. You say Sunday morning service is more than enough. Listen to the master. And the master say, Martha, Mary has chosen the most important uh, thing that is needed. Neither I nor you are going to take it away from her. You need to know something more, Martha. What I cherish the most, do you know? And if you do not know, it is time for you too to understand what I cherish the most. If we decide to grow in grace and to enjoy soul prosperity, we must beware of the cares of this world. If we do not watch and pray, they will slowly eat up our spirituality and our soul shall be lean and sick. And that is what is going to happen. And that is what happened to many, many people who want to do so much for Christ end up in complaining. It was not that Christ did not appreciate uh, uh, any service for him. He did not rebuke her for her readiness and willingness to do things for Christ. Sometimes we are caught up in between two. Which one to choose? The choice we have to make often is not between, uh, uh, between good and evil but it is between good and better. And the better often is the enemy of who keep us from the best. And so we battle between these two, good and better, and better and best, what to choose. And Jesus said only one thing is needed. And what is it he's referring to? And it is time for us who want to do so much for Christ to stop and to think what is the most important thing and that, that Jesus cherishes from us. It is easy for us to lose sight of the right priority. Mary sat at Jesus' feet. Sitting there, she could look up and just look into his eyes and into his face and listen to him. Hallelujah. And, and what is the resulting fruit of sitting at his feet, looking into his eyes, looking into his face? And listening to him and learning from him, what is the resulting fruit? It is the devotion that leads you to worship. For that worship and that devotion is the most important thing that Jesus cherishes from you and from me. Complaining is the result of business. One thing he has to do so uh, or keep himself so busy in doing things that he loses sight of Jesus Christ himself. Do you know that is going to happen to uh, those who think 
that keeping yourself busy in doing things is the most important thing, you will lose sight of Jesus himself. We are so busy in serving God that we forget Jesus himself. And thus lose the touch of God upon our lives. And you know, such a person who thinks that it is important to do so much, he sees himself most of the time. Not Jesus. He has a secret desire to be seen and to be heard and to be appreciated. He wants others' help in, uh, in, in, in achieving all these. But Jesus said, he would not let anyone take away from Mary the only thing that is needed in life. You know, once the Pharisees came to Jesus complaining about the children making too much noise in singing praises to Jesus, the Messiah. They said they are making too much noise. Shouting for Jesus. And so what is the what what is what what does the response of Jesus to that complaint? You know what it means? It means worship Jesus as much as possible. Look to him, look into his eyes, look into his face. And see how beautiful Jesus is. And begin to see the beauty of his holiness. And you will be a better person and a better servant of Jesus when you put the priorities right. And the most important thing that Jesus cherishes from you and from me is this worship that is the result of such devotion and you give yourself to him. That is worship. Your entire being is totally devoted to him. And this is what we learn from Mary. And it is from, it is, it is by sitting at Jesus' feet she could do for Jesus, for his burial, while he was still alive. You remember some women wanted to anoint the body of Jesus, but they were too late. They went there on Sunday early in the morning. By that time, by the time they reached there, he already resurrected and gone. But Mary by anointing Jesus with that perfume of just a few days before his arrest and crucifixion. And some disciples complained, why wasting so much money by buying this most costly perfume? And Jesus said, leave her alone. She has done it for the burial of my body. And my friends, let us set right our priorities. What cherishes Jesus the most? That devotion, that worship, that making oneself completely as an offering to Jesus. And that is worship. God bless you as you meditate on this further. And do, do the right thing, that God may be pleased with you. Doing things for God is important, but even that must be born out of your worship and your devotion to God, your communion and fellowship with God. And for this reason he has chosen you, that you may be with him. God bless you as you understand and practice it. Amen. Lord, we thank you for revealing this truth to us. 
we pray that your people will be blessed with the Holy Spirit's anointing and fullness, that they will do the right thing for your glory. Amen.